Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Dev XR. So it arrived. So this video is like two days late now, but if you were here on Tuesday, you'd know that I did a Twitch stream, which is just over at Twitch slash Game Dev XR. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to head over there and check out some of the stuff. But we basically did a five and a half hour live stream of the Quest 2, uh, my opinions, what I thought of it, getting it ready in Unreal, that kind of thing. So rather than taking that entire five and a half hours and trying to bring it down into like a 10 minute video, I thought I'd just record it and go from there. Just give you my opinions, what we figured out on the stream and what I think of it essentially. So this won't be an unboxing because I actually have it already here, so I can do it without dropping it, which is awesome. We'll leave the box. One good thing I want to do shout out for, though, is the recycled cardboard and the fact that the box is so much smaller than the other one, the, the Q1. Like, good going with the cardboard. I'm really pleased with it. So, let's put that box on the floor and we'll talk about the headset. Let me unplug it for a second. If I get my original Quest 1. We can compare it. So out of the box, the first thing that pretty much came to mind was the size difference and the weight. So the original is definitely heavier. You can feel that. Not so much when you're holding them side by side, but when they're on your face. So as a dev, I'd sit there mainly all day, every day with this thing just sat on my head. And then it can get tiresome and it can hurt your neck as well. I wouldn't recommend doing it. So being able to feel that weight difference and feel how much lighter it actually is, is so much better on this side of it anyway. And as well playing games, it's actually really nice to play games with. So that's pretty much the first thing that stood out was just the weight. The second was the size. So if we put them together, you can see how much difference there actually is in the headset. I can't remember exactly how much smaller the new one is, but overall it's much better. It actually takes up less space on your desk as well, which you wouldn't think about, but when it's sat there all day, it, it's kind of pretty good. The other stuff, I kind of want to cover some of the good stuff before I hit on the bad thing, but basically only one bad thing. So that's not too bad. But um, the, the charger port has been moved, which is kind of understandable. The power button is also now on the side rather than on like the shell bit where it was before. And then the head, the actual thing, which I'm having to use because I wear glasses, is actually the adapter that comes with it. So it comes with this little adapter, which allows the headset to come out a little bit more. So if you do wear glasses, you can fit it on your face much easier. And it's just, it's so much nicer. And it just clips on like so, just the original. And then with the headset in hand, if I can do this without it going all wonky. So with the headset in hand, you literally just slot it in. And then once it's in roughly the right place, you can literally just clip it and then snap it into place. What I'm really hoping for is that someone comes out with something that we can clean once we pass this over to a client or so, or just a bit, even friends, especially with the world that we live in. Like they've changed the outside, so it's not fabric anymore, which is really nice, which means we can clean this really well. Just like a wet wipe and you can go over it. The inside as well with this coming off is just a solid plastic. So if I bring it up, you can see that we've got that and it just makes it so much easier to clean. Like, like all in general, it's just so much easier. And then we've got the IPD adjustment in the center as well. Mine's set to two. I haven't had an issue with this. And the lenses are really difficult to actually snap to different, different settings. So I'd recommend just checking that out. It's really good. I'm a little bit worried about if we pass this to a client and we've got to take it off their head and then we've got to adjust the IPD. It just makes it a little bit more difficult because over time that wear and tear could loosen up 
So that's just something to think about in general. If, you, if you're developing for it, or if you do client meetings and stuff like that with the quest. So just keep that in mind. The next thing is pretty much the straps. So a lot of the whole thing of the first quest is when a client or somebody picks it up, even just a user, you normally grab it by the sides, which means these parts can get really dirty and then your fingers make a mess on the top. Like it's quite difficult to clean and you can see it on this one where it's just getting a bit filthy. So being able to wash this down now is really nice. But the concern is this fabric material on the sides. I can see this getting really dirty really fast and not really having a good way to clean it. So that's just something to think about if you're if you are doing meetings and just want to try and keep it looking nice. Maybe like a plastic protector to go over the top of it would be cool. And again, that will work for just disinfecting and cleaning it down. But apart from that, it's fantastic. So that's the physical product. And the last thing I didn't mention, because I was waiting till kind of the end, is the strap. I hate it. <laughs> I'm not going to pull punches or anything like that. I, I hate the, the default strap. But saying that, I completely understand why they did it. Like they're putting so much more processing power into this headset that they need to save money in certain places, which as a business side, it's completely understandable, but the fabric is really uncomfortable. So if you put it on and I take my glasses off first, so it's not the wrong way around. You put it down, it actually catches your ears and then it hurts on the top where the band is. It's like, Feels like someone's trying to give you a paper cut on behind your ears. It's horrible. And then if you took them in, I think you just look like an idiot, but on the plus side, you can't see yourself. So that's all right. So that's pretty much it for the physical headset. Now the quality, I'm going to start by saying the anti-aliasing or the lack of an alias effect. Basically it's really good. Like, the anti-aliasing alone makes this headset worth buying because you can do so much more with it now. Like the, the, like the Rift one, the content in the headset always had like the jagged lines around it for those who aren't really sure what that is. But this is pretty much completely gone now. So that alone makes it worth the purchase, especially when you can, you can provide better content to clients and better quality which is basically what they're always after. So that's what you need. And yeah, that's kind of it for, for the review. I don't really know. I'm not really an unboxer, so I don't really do product reviews. So this is all new. It's just kind of giving my personal opinion on it, but it's fantastic headset. One thing that does keep getting repeatedly brought up and it's just starting to amuse me now was on the Twitch stream. Uh, it was Twitch, Reddit, and the discord. Apparently there's a big thing or controversy at the minute with blacks in the headset. So like black quality objects, but unless you're using an OLED display, I don't think this makes any difference at all. If anybody is complaining about the, the lack of black, essentially it's, I don't know why as a dev, it's absolutely fine. I love it. And I wouldn't really change much about this version. Like in the future, it's only just going to get better. But until then, this is what we got. And it's fantastic. Like so much better than like the Lenovo Daydream Google Pixel for sure. Um, it's better than the last quest, but yeah, it's freaking fantastic. And I highly recommend one if you either if you want to play VR games and you get into it or if you want to do development on it, because I've already had to play around in Unreal and we can already do so much more. So if I give you a little teaser for that, let's go to let's jump on over to Unreal. So in here, I was playing around with this this morning. I'm going to bring a I'm going to release a video on the project settings and how I got this all to work. 
and we'll do one on the decals as well. But in the quest one, bloom and decals, as well as reflections, were quite performance heavy and difficult to do. Uh, decals just didn't work at all without mobile HDR. And after playing around this morning, I actually got these two work. So if we, we're not going to jump into Unreal, but what I'll do is I'll open side quest. So I've opened side quest, I've got the headset connected, and we're going to start streaming. So you can see here, I've jumped into the project. So it's the one that I was just showing you on the screen. Everything's a little bit blown out. But competitive tracking is absolutely great. And we've got Bloom as well. So the Bloom's all working, which is excellent. And you can see over here, we've even got decals. So the decals don't use the lighting, which is still a thing, but it's a step closer. We, we now can do a little bit more and the reflections as well work great. And I was trying to push this as far as I could earlier. And I even got planar reflections working, but it was really a heavy hit on performance. So I had to take it out and it also only worked on one eye, but that might be something for the future that they can work on and get working. But, or oh, one last thing I do want to cover is the controllers as well. So I've already done this all backwards, but the controllers are a little bit heavier and a little bit bigger. Like they've got the disc now, but they're really comfortable and they feel more durable. Like on the top here, this band is thicker, which I think is going to cause less, less issues when playing. But Overall, the headset's fantastic, and I highly recommend one for developing on. If you do want, if you do want to check out videos or you want some tutorials on the topic, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you've got any questions or anything like that, or you want to recommend, request any videos, then head on over to the Discord. Like if I if I bring that up on the screen now, like we've got a fantastic Discord going. We've got over. 249 members or we've got 249 members and we've even got a quest 2 page where people are already jumping in and developing stuff for it and helping each other out so i'd highly recommend jumping over here so i think that's pretty much it for this video that is the quest 2 as it is unboxing and tech reviews not really my thing but it's worth it. It's got some, it's got a lot of potential and I can't wait to start doing some projects for it. I've already got a load in mind. I've already got a load of tutorials lined up. But yeah, I think that's, I think that's pretty much it for this video. So until next time, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.